what's up y'all welcome back for another spiritual snack it is valentine's day weekend whenever it is that you're watching this so happy valentine's day um i was trying all week to try to figure out um something lovey that i could talk about um but the same thing just kept popping up in my spirit um and so that because i'm being obedient to god that is what i'm going to talk about today um so here's what happened y'all so let me set the scene so last week i was on a call um, and everyone was talking about a particular subject and I wanted to raise an idea, um, something that came to my mind. I wanted to share it with the people that were on the call. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't. I had that urge to speak. I knew exactly what I wanted to say. I even wrote it down in my little notes because we were on Zoom, everybody's on Zoom. So I wrote it down in my little notes so that I could say it. And those words never crossed my lips. They never came out. Um, and the thing is, I do that a lot. And I don't know if I'm alone in this, but there are just moments when I have these ideas or these insights um, and I want to share them, but for some reason I stop myself. It's like, I know how I want to say it. I know when I want to say it. And some of y'all have had that instance when you have a clap back that comes to mind. But anyway, I didn't end up sharing what I wanted to share. And it never fails that less than five minutes later, maybe five seconds later, I started beating myself up about it. Like, why didn't you say this? Why didn't you say that? And the fact of the matter is we all find ourselves from time to time in spaces or places where we want to say something, um, where we want to make something known, um, whether it's an idea, a concern, a suggestion, whatever the case might be, you wanted to say something and you didn't. God doesn't give us those insights and suggestions just for it to stop with us. In fact, he gave those insights and everything else that he placed on our heart to say and to do um, because he wants us to impact um, those around us. Whatever that looks like for you, it could be your classmates, it could be your job, it could be your friends, it could be your family, whatever space you find yourself in. If you feel that fire burning up on the inside of you that you wanna say something, that you wanna speak on something, make sure that you do it. At the end of the day, God chose you. Um, God placed that message deep down on the inside of you for a reason. And maybe, maybe this is the way I can connect it, but it's out of God's love that he chose you to say it in the first place. He could have picked anybody, any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Is that how that phrase goes? I don't know. He could have picked anybody, okay? But he chose you specifically to carry that message into that space or to that place. So don't do yourself a disservice. Don't do God a disservice. Don't do um, whoever it is you're in that space with a disservice by stifling yourself or muting yourself or preventing yourself from speaking up and speaking boldly. There's a scripture um, in the Bible that reminds us that God gave us gifts, not just for ourselves, but so that we could be faithful stewards and impact um, all of God's service. That is what we are supposed to do with our gifts. And if you don't do it, what are you saying to God? What are you telling God? by stifling yourself and not allowing yourself to lean in to the ideas or insights that he placed deep down on the inside of you. At the end of the day, and this is not so that you can be prideful, but at the end of the day, God gave you something very specific to share with this world. And if you let fear or doubt or worry, and this isn't even just for y'all, this is for me too. If you let fear, doubt, or worry, um, or a lack of confidence prevent you from speaking on what God gave you, not only are other people missing out, but you're stifling your own growth. Who knows what would have happened as a result of you sharing that idea or insight? Who knows what would have happened as a result of you sharing those concerns? It's up to you to carry God's gifts into this world. That is the task um, that comes with the gifts that he gave you in the first place. And remember that when it comes to speaking with the word that God gave you, understand that you won't be speaking alone. God is with you. God gave it to you in the first place and he will be with you as you carry it into, um, as you carry it into his kingdom. Trust and believe that God will never allow um, you to make him look bad. Amen. And so trust that God has you. When you do speak, speak boldly, trusting um, that it was God that gave it to you in the first place. Trusting um, that God gave that idea to you in the first place, that suggestion to you in the first place. Whatever it is that God is calling you or telling you to say or do, do it. Okay. Because God loves you enough to give it to you in the first place. That's all that I have for y'all today. I pray that each of you had an awesome Valentine's Day, um, that you were able to feel the love of your family, of your friends, and of our God. Um, and I just pray that each of you stay safe. I hope y'all enjoyed this snow. I saw a snowman coming home the other day, y'all. It's like, oh, it's winter. Um, so just praying that you guys are staying safe and enjoying this weather. See you all next time. Stay popping and be blessed.